Father, what should I do if my priest won't baptize me? I'm cradle Roman Catholic and my priest wants only chrismation. Well, it's a very difficult situation. God help you. And God help the priest to realize he's making a mistake. Uh, I, I would say give him the book we're going to publish. Uh, I would implore him uh, that you will you cannot in your good conscience accept uh, any other uh, um, initiation but the one laid down by the Holy Fathers, which is baptism. And I would I would stall my initiation until I was I would receive baptism. It's that simple. Um, and and if he and if he insists, uh, no, absolutely not. Uh, then I would say, well, uh, I would I would, why why is that? How is it possible? Uh, uh, there, it, there's no precedent for someone begging for baptism and the Orthodox Church saying no. There's no precedent for that. It's 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 it's, it's mind boggling. Economy is, means it's a need of diverting from the norm. And the norm is always baptism. That's the norm. It's, it's obvious from scripture. It's the norm. That's how we become a part of the church. We're baptized. If there's a need and their presuppositions fulfill it, and there's a, and God, uh, through his uh, wisdom and enlightening the, 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 enlightening the priests and the bishops, for an exceptional case, to receive somebody by chrismation, if the presuppositions exist, fine. It's blessed. We have that in church history. We have economy. We have the thief on the cross who was not baptized, but he, he's in paradise. Okay, we have that. But it has to fulfill those things. When I'm sitting there and I'm saying, like you are, baptize me. There's no reason for him not to baptize you. Zero. Unless, unless we have some other idea about the church, about the mysteries. Unless we have some new teaching about the boundaries, unless we have some distorted understanding of economy, and we don't recognize that they've abandoned the form, they've abandoned what it means to be baptized. They don't even immerse anymore, which there are canons in the ancient church, apostolic canons, which say they must be immersed. That's a prerequisite, a presupposition. They must be immersed. If, and if not, they must do the baptism again. We have such canons. So I, it cannot be justified, and I would not go along with it. And I would say if he refuses, if you're very patient, you, you wait and wait and wait, and then he refuses, I, I'm, unfortunately, I would say go and find a priest to baptize you. Now, I'm going to be pummeled for that position. The people who want my head are going to say, look, he's teaching you to be disobedient. No, I'm not teaching anybody to be disobedient. I'm teaching you to be obedient to Christ, the gospel, the church fathers, and everything that's been taught to us and shown to us throughout church history. And if you want to learn more, like I said earlier, you can read our book that shows clearly. I'm not making this up. It's not my idea. It's not innovation. All the other things people tend to say, unfortunately. Uh,